Hi, my name's Paradise and I'm studying music here at the University of Oxford. I'm in my first year and I go to Lady Margaret Hall College. So I'm a music student here and the Oxford course is really special. Um, it covers everything from 14th century French music all the way to global hip hop. Um, Oxford's really forward thinking in their study of music and um, along with the history of music I also study the theory of music, I analyse music, you compose, I perform, it's the whole range but mostly we're questioning why we are actually here studying music and what's the point and to me the point is to get a deeper understanding so that next time you listen to music and you feel a certain way you know why you felt that way. So as a music student everyone always asks me what I play and um, I play mainly the recorder, which is quite interesting, the oboe, and I'm a singer as well. And um, although it's not a huge part of my course performance, it's a big, big part of my life outside of my course. And I started when I was really, really young, and I went on to study at the Royal College of Music in the junior department. So it's taken over my whole life. So after exams, people just like throw stuff all over each other and just like <laughs> kind of well trash them and that's why it's called trashing. So yeah, that's the remnants of a trashing. <laughs> so now we're in my room. This is where I sleep, this is where I live. Um, I live in a music room which means that it's bigger than most and I have a beautiful piano in it, I have a Steinway piano in it just because I'm a music student which is a huge huge blessing and um, yeah this is where I sometimes work as well and get together and see my friends and this room is super super special, um, I live here, college is just like you're the biggest part of your university life college determines your friends a lot of the time most of my friends are at college and it also determines the kind of environment you're around LMH harbors a really really accepting and forward-thinking environment which is actually quite unique at Oxford because Oxford is full of tradition um, so LMH is very unique in that ten in that sense so I will live in LMH for all three years of my degree um, some colleges don't have this, you live out in your second year, other places, it completely depends. A lot of things depend on your college, um, your whole experience in uni is probably going to be very different. Um, I don't have extreme academic pressure here, I feel like I do need to fulfil the expectations but I never feel super super stressed or super anxious but I know people at other colleges feel like that. Um, yeah, and it's just completely different wherever you are. So any advice I'd give to any prospective students in general applying to Oxford is that I'd say if you're applying you have to have a true, true passion and love for your subject. Here at Oxford the most exciting part about it is that everyone is so dedicated to their degree, to their course, to their subject. I love music, I live and breathe music and I always have and that's what pushes you forward because when times are tough, when you have loads of essays to hand in, there's loads of work to do, your love for your subject pushes you through. And for any prospective music students, um, I would say just really open your horizons, open your musical horizons, question why you're looking at what you're looking at, why you're studying what you're studying. When you're analysing, think about why you're doing that. Um, rather than just doing it and saying, oh, this is whatever, perfect cadence, think why that affects the way you feel about the music. And that's a really Oxford point of view and something that I've learned to do more at university. So we have loads of weird and funky traditions at Oxford and one of them is that we have to wear our gowns. This is my gown and this is my motorboard and we call it subfusk and that just means those are the clothes that you wear. And we wear these for every exam we take. I wear my gown for even my mock exams and um, it's just a weird tradition and we wear special flowers as well in our pockets um, that symbolise different things and yeah it's a really big part of Oxford. Um, so a weird tradition is that this hat, um, I can't wear it until I actually get my degree and graduate and I get fined if I do but I always have to have it and in every exam it has to be sitting on my table.
Des nuits d'amour à plus finir, un grand bonheur qui prend sa place, des ennuis, des chagrins s'effacent, heureux. So I have exams at the end of my first year and they're called prelims and they don't actually count, they don't count towards the end of my degree um, but I do have to pass them and obviously I want to do as well as I can but the real deal, the big exams are at the end of third year and they're my finals and that's um, all of the content from the second and third year examined and they're really intense and they're super hard but um, hopefully I'll get through. So my exams in first year consist of several different things. I have written papers um, which are analysing music, um, something called foundations in the study of music, so that's asking more profound questions surrounding music and also historical essays, certain really specific historical topics and as well as that I had a performance exam last week. Um, and I also had a keyboard skills exam, which is like a harmony test last week. And I'm currently in the middle of um, coursework, which is techniques of composition. So that's also a harmony test. So we have practical stuff and we also have the standard like written essay exams. So for many years, I've had the dream of being a lawyer. Um, Why well, are you studying music, you might ask? Um, so I knew that I had a passion in music and a love for music and that's what would drive me through my degree but um, afterwards I was always thinking of doing a law conversion so hopefully if I do well on my degree I can go on to do that and I've always been considering going into media law so I can mix the two together, mix music and law together um, but my ultimate, ultra, ultimate dream, my big dream since I've been a child um, is to be a singer. I just love to dedicate my life to performing and being on stage. But obviously that's super hard and arguably a little bit unrealistic. So for now, I'll stick to the corporate world. So a big misconception about Oxford is that it's all work and there's no fun, um, but um, I can promise that that is not the case. I have a lot of fun and I came here wanting to have fun um, and I think a big part of it is your attitude um, and having a balance in life. So um, I dedicate a certain amount of time to work, a certain amount to music and my extracurricular stuff and a certain amount to my friends and a lot of time the friendship stuff does just take over because it is the best bit and it's also the most important bit. Um, so now we're in the bar in LMH and I'm here quite a lot with my friends. Um, it's quite just like a social area, somewhere to just have fun and just chill. Um, there's a clubbing scene in Oxford, there's a nightlife which um, I'm a big part of. I love to dance, I'm a dancer in my free time so I spend a lot of time there. And otherwise, um, you can make loads of friends from just getting involved and joining societies, um, doing plays, doing shows, joining a sports team, so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed getting an insight into my life at Oxford. If you enjoyed this video and if you want to get an insight into other top colleges, please like and subscribe to this channel. Is there something else you're searching for? I'm falling In all the good times I find myself longing For change And in the bad times I feel myself Tell me something, boy Aren't you tired of trying to fill the void? Or do you need more? Keeping it so hardcore I'm falling In all the good times I find myself longing For change In the bad 
times I've hit myself. I love the deep end.